I'm double mic. Whoa, did you see that flash? My, my thing flashed at me. His voice got high. Here's what I get when I get Universal Rocks. A big, nice, flat box. That's because they like you. I think they just have your number. Maybe the survey spawned it. Is that freaking amazing? Yeah. That's her self-portrait when she was, um... 28? I don't know. <laughs> oh, I have to take fish today. It's the hottest freaking day of the year. That's scary. It is scary. Baby 397s, those came out of the cave that he's in. Oh, they're tiger antlers. They're not tiger antlers. Uh-oh. Stay there, buddy. Those are better side. Oh, Stay there, buddy. If you can play this game, Dean. Like so, see that? I was gonna say that's impossible. Can we find a restaurant with air conditioning? I just do cuttings and start new plants. Is that the plant you gave Corey? That's the one that's floating. That's right? the one that's yeah. floating. I just wanted yeah. to see if it would root. It, it, I think it is. I think it is rooting. Even in the water like that. Like this one, I'll take all the long ones and cut them and root them. Like I'm... Is that all you have to do? It's just like a stem plant? You just cut yeah. and... Wow, it's so yeah. easy. Maybe the stir base spawn. Put have two females in last night. We're going this way first. Look at that tank! Wow! Is that freaking amazing? Look at this one. Or, yeah, where'd that come <laughs> from? Remember I was talking to you about those endlers? Oh, from your daughter. Can't go on the video, but... <laughs> It's overflow in this one. Not yet. That one's tempered. More like temporary. I just filled that last night. So you can still see that it's kind of billowing. Is all the artwork new? I feel like there's more or new. No, but there is more. There's like this one, this one. That one's from the yeah, that one. So much artwork you put some behind the aquarium. <laughs> there's this one. No, I hadn't seen that one. So um, this is done by my niece. This one. The goldfish. Nice. And then I've got all of these prints of Jimmy's. So they're going to go up over there. And finally, they can see your daughter. Yeah. That's her self portrait when she was. Um, 28? I don't know. <laughs> so it's, it's that shell right there. I think you're lying. Nope. I just saw him dart. Gold ocelotus? I just saw him dart in there when you turned around. So. Big female, there's two big females. They're chasing that crazy flickering. There you go. There's three females in there now. I put one in two days ago and I pulled eggs yesterday. And I think these will spawn today or tomorrow. There's no background here, Dean. What are you doing? Do we have to cut that out of the. We can't let people see that. Long story. Mm. That would look so good in there. Out of all the tanks. I don't know because the gold. Oh, I know. The, the gold <laughs> on that background, I don't know if they might show it. The goldfish. It'd be kind of cool to get one of their other like super 3D ones or something. It's By the way, I hate this company. Angry because I ordered from them two days ago. There's nothing on their website that says there's going to be a delay. I check out with $400 worth of stuff and it says, please allow six to seven weeks for delivery. <laughs> Everyone on YouTube's waiting for like the reveal of what's going to go in the 230 gallon yeah. tank. Guess what? Six to seven weeks from today, well, two days ago, before I even get my crap, which they usually take so long, so I'm gonna go ahead and make it like 12 weeks. Yeah, yeah. And I get mine like in a week. From the same company, by the way. They probably just actually hate me. <laughs> I think they fine. just know. <laughs> all right, these are all awake. Do you spend this much time looking at the fish before you start, or would you, if the camera wasn't here, would you just be moving on? Well, normally the lights aren't even on at this point, just the ceiling light. I think we should do that then. No, that'd be boring. I just I, I mean know. and then you know the lights come on at four four in the afternoon we couldn't we couldn't really film without the lights on we haven't fed anything yet this morning so do you feed them with the lights off yep okay I mean with that light on though the right yeah the, yeah the room light on my lights don't come on till three okay and the auto feeders fire at four but I feed by hand earlier yeah because I think it's interesting to see so okay well, now I gotta get that one off too. You know, those plug things are so cool. Is it time for a commercial? <laughs> Already? Okay, just a second, I'll go get one. I can't get the box open, Jimmy. Oh, it's taped shut. I gotta do my commercial first. It doesn't make us any money. In fact, it costs us money.
But every time I'm at your house, There's you own new one. every camera gadget that you never use. This is the new Joby, well, I assume it's new because I've never seen it, but Joby uh, selfie stick. Yes. That looks amazing. Okay, we can get rid of this box now. I'm taking this to the Peru. I was thinking about doing that. Yeah, and it's got the grip. That's the thing I like is you got the grip. This thing is amazing. Oh, wait, here's another one. I have this one. This one just feels like it's better. It's probably 40 bucks, huh? I have no idea. Yeah. He doesn't know. Day in the life of Dean. He goes, I don't know what this stuff costs. I doesn't need it. I have no idea. So I bring this tank home from my daughter's place with a couple inches of water and a bunch of fish in it and a few little plants. They've grown like crazy, obviously. I tried to give these to Corey, but he doesn't want them. It's late at night, and I'm like, how do I control the light? And then instantly I thought, ah, one of these plugs, I could set it up in like, what, three minutes, maybe? You got no, it takes like seven because it always has a firmware update. Seven minutes. Three minutes because I didn't do the firmware update. Yeah, okay, well then, yeah. It is only three minutes if you don't do the firmware update. And so then you, it's all controlled already. It's like a piece of cake. This makes your fish room so easy. Oh, and by the way, like someone like Lizzie that does plant lights, she needs a whole box of these. Casa. Wi-Fi timers, smart plug, mini. So one of the things I always want to do is I want to have like a Dean's page on the co-op thing. Oh yeah, I where, that where these are all the quick ads that you can add. You haven't got free shipping yet? Oh, add that. You want to go outside and check out the ponds before it's too bloody hot? Pretend I'm not even here. The lights aren't on yet. We're going to turn them on because we'll have to come back to this. Would you turn them on normally? No. Then don't. Okay, not. I'm not feeding them either. All right, do whatever you would do. No like today, you know you got to bring fish. Oh, I have to take fish today. It's the hottest freaking day of the year. Then this we go why, in here. This is why we came today. And we pee. All right, get that on camera. We look for eggs. Oh, and he just happens to be sitting on a whole nest of eggs. You can see him fanning it. This, the cubes, I like to stick. Cube. Yeah. I do have an issue with that though. Good tube effects worms. I know they're eradicated, but why is the bottom of the bottle fake? Hmm? It is. It's fake. There's an inch with nothing in it. I got a whole diatribe. Oh, really? From, I got a whole diatribe from Dean one night at like 11 o'clock at night. Did you know this? getting the last cube out and I'm like, I shouldn't be able to reach down there and I can hit the bottom. Could it be there's some other foods that go all the way down? Or every single... No, it's fake. It's, a, it's like it, an extra it, it's piece. It's like an extra piece oh. that they clipped on and put Weird. the shrinker. So it would like, not only is that destroying the planet from extra plastic, right? it also takes up more space in the box when we're shipping it right? and all kinds of stuff. Like it would just be better all around to like... But just... it looks bigger on the shelf. Yeah, on a shelf. And that's, yeah. people focus too much on, well, at the retail store, it needs to look big, yeah. but... Okay, we've peed. Oh, look, we're going to take these fish today. Where's the other flashlight? That is a lot of angels. Oh, here it is. It's right here. How many? Oh, how, yes. Oh, there's got to be I think 300. 300 in there. Yeah. He's not sitting on eggs. He's sitting on a female. And I just took the fry away two days ago we'll see him in the fish room what's the star on one of the the brine trip eggs means um it's the gold standard <laughs> so the only that only that one is well no it was one of my it was one of my posts uh, oh, okay. on instagram that's only half of the cans i've used just so you guys know by the way, that's sponsored. I do give them to those to Dean for free, so yeah. I have to disclose that. A lot of stuff he does buy, but those ones, he's doing very thorough testing and did very yeah. thorough testing, so he gets a lot for free. Yeah, those were Those ones are those probably were free. free. There's fish in here. <laughs> oh, there's rice fish babies. Yeah. But what happened? It, it got all this slime on it. Yeah, it did, didn't it? Oh, there are. There's, they're alive. Uh-huh. I've never fed those yet. So they, they must be eating the slime, right? I haven't water changed it ever yet. We should try that today. 
maybe. Should we try a water change on that, Jimmy? Yeah. Wait, let me drink it. You want to see something cool, Dan? So then when I come over. So we'll show you how to do a water change in there. Oh, yeah, your super sweet system. Kids, don't do this at home. You're going to stand on that, are you? Yeah. You have a bad back. I know. This is the worst idea. I know. This really is the, the, what Dean would do when yeah. Dylan was watching. A little bit of gravel came out. That's not bad. Oh, maybe we can. See? First water change. That's kind of cool. Now we just hook that up to a solenoid and auto water change it. That's scary. It is scary for me even. We gotta go for it. Don't break yourself more. Now, who would do this to a lid? Only a crazy fool like you. I want to be able to see what's in there. What is that stuff? It's algae. You can see yeah, a little bit of green. It's probably from these lights up top here. I know it's not recommended. I'm gonna kill them. No. I'm, I'm putting more tap. About I'm, you I'm putting off. tap water in. Sorry, guys. We don't have that much chlorine. We get away with it. Here, we can take that chlorine. That was bleach. <laughs> that was bleach. Yeah. I think these are called cooking sticks. Asian cooking sticks? Chopsticks? No, no, no. They're, they're actually cooking sticks. We'll go like in there. Like you would know. They, they are cooking <laughs> sticks. They come in pairs like this. Yeah, those are like chopsticks. But they're not me. chopsticks. They're cooking sticks. All right. So you just poke a hole in there. I can't believe that you're still practicing catching fish with those. You filling <laughs> Miss Jimmy Young. Yeah. This thing was probably nine dollars. No, they're like two or three dollars. Okay. They have them in all different ways. Wow, you've lakes. made a lot of those. <laughs> it's going into business. Stir bay eggs right there. Oh yeah. I'm gonna play the internet today. Dean, what's the blue water? Where's the blue water? In the oh eggs. there is blue water. Yeah, um that's um Methylene blue. Methylene blue, that's it. The Korean Club does not sell that because like no one's making it anymore. I know. If you Fritz. want if you want some, you gotta buy the cordon or the Fritz and get the Fritz doesn't make it anymore. I think cordon stopped too. Wow. Get it while you can. I'm trying to surround on Fritz to make it again. You buy four ounces and it'll last you a hundred years. It does. It it's a tiny amount, it lasts forever. So Baby 397s, those came out of the cave that he's in. We gotta move those to a tray today, right now. I have to cut the sponge. When it goes in, it locks in. Right? Is that cool or what? Now, there's a reason for my madness, because I am kind of a little crazy. If you just shove a sponge in there. I've done that. Okay, what, what am I doing wrong? It doesn't work, because you've compressed the sponge, and now all the holes are compressed. And I've actually tried. I used to, in the old days, glue screen on here. But for some reason, on these trays, it doesn't work. It just plugs up too quick. Make sure that water's running through there. Are you going to give that talk for our club someday? What? The Aquarium Co-op Club. Because you give that talk how to make your tray or your... Um, you know, that, stuff, could, right? that could be a talk. Yeah. Because you won't, you won't do it because it's your talk. So you want it to be behind like members only kind of stuff. Right. It has yeah. to be members only. Absolutely. All right. Hey, do you have the stuff to make this video today that we owe people? I could find it. All right. Maybe we'll get another video going. <laughs> There's so many questions I have that no one else cares about. I care. Okay. Why does your attachment bottle for your gravel vac have to have water in it. Is this part of your like your siphon system down there? Oh, does the it have feed? water? No, that's because yeah, I water. probably had a leak. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, I can't, I can't figure it like out. This. Okay, here we go. Don't want to bruise the little guys. Look at that. How many is there, Jimmy? Someone will 26? count them. 26 times $75 each. That's probably what I'm going to pay. And you're you. going to get 150 yeah. each. Yeah. Wow. I paid I paid 100 and something each. We got them at what? What 2018? 2018? Yeah. yeah. Catfish yeah. Commission. Yeah. So 3 years later now. <laughs> we're 70. He's in it for the long haul. We'll go 400. He's at 400. Yeah. 400. How a bit. How a bit. Sold for $400. Thank you very much. 
Yeah, really? Yeah, about 4, yeah. 50. That's Holy why I got them to you, because yeah. I was like, okay, we really got to breed these. Because I think they're the coolest looking Pleco when they're young. Oh, you want to see some cool ones, that, some young ones of these? I'll sure. show you some cool young ones. It's time. Oh, the blue screw is still there. Yes. <laughs> so, you know one thing that I really want to develop What's that? or make? I want a custom tank somewhere in my next fish room. All right. Because I don't have room in this one. It's deeper than a 15. Okay. Where I can just put the tumblers in. So, so like those old school Metaframe tanks that were like yes, this. It right. was like, yeah. Narrow front to back. Mm -hmm. And I want to be able to put like four tumblers in. Well, now I know what to get you for Christmas. And that's all that would be used for. So Jimmy, now this, this goes over here. And it doesn't float yet. So I just hook this up with my airline tubing and start the water flowing. I come down here, turn the bring the air down. In a couple minutes, this will level out. For plecos, I like to put a little piece of wood in there. So we're gonna throw a couple little pieces of wood. Do you say how many? About 25, 26. Nice. That's pretty good spawn, actually. You're gonna be able to take your wife out to dinner with that one. Yeah. This has been going 36 hours. Mm -hmm. This one I started last night, so tomorrow morning it'll be 36 hours. So 36 hours, I take the air out. I usually just wipe it off and I sometimes I clean the little orifice. And I move this to the bottom. If I have these lights on, which you notice I turned them off, yeah. then it doesn't attract as well. So I'm gonna let that just sit there for five, 10 minutes while we look at some other stuff. We can come over here and we got the pair of puffers up here. Anybody want a pair of puffers? <laughs> I'm almost done with them. Oh. Uh, I just don't have time. Yeah. You know, uh, we got Vienna guppies. These are if case Corey ever kills all of his. Yeah. Got some big females in there. Um, these are some Aspidorus that I'm growing out uh, in here. Uh, there's only Aspidorus in there. Uh, rice fish. Um, these are the um, platinum ones. And platinum ones here, we're going to take these to the store today. Um, as many as we can net out of there. Oh, I promised you to see some cool little baby plecos, right? If I move this out of the way. And slowly slide this forward. Oh, oh yeah, look, look at the so those, those are the 390s, and those look so cool. You can see that there's still tons of brine shrimp that haven't settled yet. I've added this little hose to the Zist thing just so I can um, take the brine shrimp out. Because I'm going to reuse this water that I'm doing. And you can see this is basically brine shrimp, very, very little egg shell. Most of the yeah. shell is floating. So so microscopic amount of eggshell compared to other shrimp eggs. A lot of brain shrimp, huh? That's a lot. Like how many scoops of uh, oh, that do would, you usually do here? That would be um, basically uh, one tablespoon of eggs. One tablespoon of eggs. Yeah. And for new people, one tablespoon of eggs, how many tablespoons of salt? Two tablespoons of salt. Okay. One to two ratio. Yep. And well, for most people, you're going to use maybe a quarter or a half a teaspoon of eggs because you're not feeding as many fish. Yeah. Shut this off. Brine shrimp and the discards. So this is going to go down the drain. Now I'm a little bit weird about this. Some people just rinse it out. But remember before when we talked about all that poop and stuff? Mm -hmm. Now I don't have all that poop in there. This is set to go. And then this is going to go through my sieve. Notice I'm collecting the water. That's my brine shrimp. And I'm going to fill this.
So this is the strained water, right? Mm -hmm. It's going back in here. A little bit with fresh water. Not a lot. And just stirring those up a little bit. So this we're going to feed right now. This, I'm going to hook the air back up and it will all be fed out by the end of the day. Okay, so you're just saving them for yeah, later. For later. If, I, if I have some fish that need an extra feeding, I can just grab some out. A lot of people will ask, what's this for? It's a sandwich bag tie. Tells me which feeder I'm using. Uh, <laughs> at the, at, just an indicator. Yep. I'll turn these lights back on because I, I need to make sure not to feed the fish I'm gonna net, right? This might look messy to you guys because I've got a lot to do. A little bit of time to do it. Check those out, they're eating. They're eating. A little bit for the new ones. None for the rice fish, none for those pluckers. We got more, we got ponds. Shell dwellers love this stuff. Oh, these guys probably will too. And a lot of people will, will say, oh, they're tiger endlers. They're not tiger endlers. So they're, you notice the females aren't as big. They've never been crossed with guppies. Now, can I turn these lights on so you can see in here now? It's okay. Is if it okay? If you do this with the lights off, we'll do it with the lights off. All right. So this is what I normally do then. telling you there are fry there they do like to eat I like the little things yeah Look, what is that? Fry. This is where I'm going to start the, um, the outside breeding of the uh, platinum rice fish. Yep. This one, I think, do you guys remember we uh, took a mop and threw it in here? Mm -hmm. These are the fry. Playing with the mop sizes. And they lay more in this mop than this mop. The big one? Yep. So this is about a five minute process. Once a day or maybe every other day, they will, they will um, hatch over the next week, 10 days, depending on the temperature. Wow, there's just a bazillion eggs in here. I've now put almost 50 eggs in there. You do that three or four days in a row you have plenty to sell. Oh, an egg I didn't get. See him? Nice looking fish though. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize when, when we first got them, the, that extra little red two streams on the tail, you know where yeah. it fans out. Cool fish though. I get a bucket of water. Now this water has gone through filters. Um, all I'm doing right now is waiting for the temperature to adjust because uh, I want it to be about 80 degrees. What I'm going to do with this water is when I'm packing the fish, they get almost 100% water change. So I'm always taking fresh, clean water to the shop. By the way, when I was in the bathroom, Jimmy, I gave you all sorts of good <laughs> content. Great. Just in case anybody's wondering, this water is going through a 
10 micron pre-filter. So I think they call it a wound one. And it's going through a five micron carbon block. So this is just gonna sit over here. I'm gonna start on the rice fish. So this is where I usually start. Notice I'm just adding one of the fresh water. Counting net. That's 81. That's a good number. Now I'm down to the hard to catch ones. When I'm doing something like this where there's a bunch of little fish, I usually just give them extra. Oh yeah, really tiny. So I'm putting um, about five or six extra fish in there. Yeah, so you got a hundred in there? Yep. That's basically the catching water, the netting water, and then I start adding a little bit here. I'll add just a little bit more of the catching water because I don't want to totally do. And then I'm looking at this as I'm going to use one of my large bags. If I'm going to the store, I'll take some extra water. Um, if I shipping fish, which I don't do, by the way, <laughs> then it would be you're looking at the weight, but I'm not looking at the weight going to the store. So you missed this part, Corey. Fresh water. This, this bucket is fresh from my filter. I do it whenever I bring you fish. That's so, so you we get, can't test your water and find out how, uh, <laughs> how terrible it is. Fresh, <laughs> you get fresh, clean water with the fish. Now you get to see this crazy rubber banding technique. It is crazy, I will say that. I don't know, I've been doing it this way for I see it a hundred years. Like every time. See, I, I think part of it is, I can never buy those baby rubber bands that all the stores use. I got a really reef on these big ones. I think I thought I think I've seen you do it differently uh, on Some, a smaller bag. Sometimes I spin the bag, yeah. Yeah, and you go underneath. That's that's what yeah. I saw the old school like uh, fish stores do. What are we gonna call these platinum rice fish? Yeah, I think so. Oh, a signed Dean's fish bag. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Robert can sell that later. Square bottom bag. Nothing gets caught in the seams. And you don't have to tape it. Don't have to tape it. This one's ready to go. Who wants to run upstairs? Corey? I'll run upstairs. Into the cooler. Into the cooler. Now I want to get all the gold plecos out of there. That shouldn't be too hard. Oh, do I quarantine my nets? Nah. I get a lot of questions, Jimmy, about diseases. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of people like to play doctor. Yeah. Uh, for me... I don't want to. If I have a sick fish, I don't want it infecting any of my other fish in the fish room. So I'm a little bit more careful with that. I quarantine pretty well. I always have to look at the driftwood because those plecos hide in the littlest areas. That 
wasn't hard at all. You're super yellow. So something not seen on camera that I realized while I was going up the stairs. I was like, this seems horribly inefficient. What's that? Dean has sold fish so many times he knows if he puts them all in the cooler, the cooler's too heavy to carry up the stairs. Oh, so you gotta yeah, run the bags yeah, yeah. up. I was like, this is horrible. And I'm like, wait, no, yeah. he's done this before. Our mystery shipment is scheduled to arrive on Thursday at the airport. Nice. Dean and I are both getting something. I think it. Oh, is it the same thing? Yeah. That might be enough for Robert. I only want you to leave me a male and a female. I don't know how many are in there. They're all kind of hiding, but. Do you want me to catch them all? I don't care. I don't need them. Stay in there. Robert said he could use them. Yeah, these aren't super big, so these will sell well. Yeah. These are ready to go. Angelfish are a little more extensive, in my opinion, because I have to kind of cull them at the same time a little bit because I never want to take the shop bad fish. You're using the comically small net that no one actually uses? Yeah. Crazy. Because I, I'm i very picky with what angelfish go to the store. No, I know. So, That's why you charge us like $700 each. Yeah. So only the best ones. And there's a little cull bucket here. Like this guy, he can't go. So you have to go visit the wolf fish? Uh-huh. I find it comical that this tiny little net catches them, and in the wild, it's unbelievably hard with a net as big as Twice ten yeah. <laughs> I know. They're so domesticated here. Should be good. How does the shop do? During a heat wave, do people still come in, or are they scared? They're scared, but we, uh, we're giving out popsicles and that kind of stuff. We're going to get popsicles? <laughs> Good, yeah. There's the crazy That's what you call a bad grab. I was thinking we could do an event at my store where it's like, come buy fish from Corey and Dean, and we'll catch them and net them. Yeah, that would be fun. And then this made me think of like, you should just put the price on that bag. It probably doesn't even need to go into a tank. I know. Like someone would just be like, I, I would take that for this. I know. I haven't been there in person, but I've seen your videos in China where they have all the free yeah. bag fish. I just think that's the coolest thing. I, I think it's real efficient. And I think, you know, probably by the end of the day, those bags are either sold or they dump them back in the water, change them. Yeah, they do water change them. A lot of them do sell. I think, I honestly think Japan does the best, and that's, they didn't bag everything. They just bagged all the quick things like auto sink list, shrimp, oh, six neon Tetris do a bag, that kind of stuff. The stuff they know they're gonna sell every day. It's kind of what we do at the warehouse. We sell a lot of plants, but then we'll pre-package like, okay, well, if we sold 100 Amazon swords, let's pack up 120, knowing that 20 more will probably sell by the time we go home. Right. And if they don't, we do take them out and we put them back in the tanks, but, um, you know, just efficiency-wise makes sense. You want me to start running those back up? Those, those can all go. All right. You can't go to the shop without paperwork. Okay. So we're going to go make that really clear. Can you go to the shop without what? Paperwork. paperwork. Oh, yeah. So 50 red koi. On the hottest day of the year, Yeah. we're going to lock the house up, and I'm getting escorted to take those fish that we just netted to the co-op. Good. I hope. I think there's a car. That's a good thing. Would you leave at this same time, Dean? Around one o'clock, two o'clock? To go to the shop? Yeah. Uh, normally, I would be leaving around. I try to leave around eleven. Okay. We set this up with Robert before. Uh huh. Otherwise, we would. Ne I would never go on a weekend. brought you some fish. Awesome, what are you bringing? I think you're gonna be kinda happy, kinda sad. Let's start with the sad. <laughs> giant angel. Let's start with the sad. Yeah, pretty much a giant angel. <laughs> <laughs> he guessed it too. Philippine blue angel. <laughs> angel. I it's I a male. I enough defense for you. 
Okay, I could use those. I got some people and, looking and for some big ones. And I got small ones, too. Okay, awesome. Yeah, I was like, I don't know if you want some big ones. Both. I actually so like... get rid of those. So, of recent, if you're breeding uh, bristle noses, actually, if you could give me a bit of a variety, that's great. Because you got some people who want the big tanks. People want the female, people want the males. Males, or uh, for example, if you got like an African cichlid tank, you're looking for a cleaner fish, so you don't, you don't want to have like a little one inch guy with your full grown peacocks. Yeah, so. Exactly, right. Yeah, that's nice in here. It's, it it's so far, besides being in like the air conditioned I, car, this is the nicest. So I think far. going home was like more miserable. Like once I was home, I'm like, oh, this is yeah. hot. Like here, I got fans. I really do. Farlow Well Vitata. Those are nice. And expensive. Yeah. Of course I pick out the expensive ones. <laughs> yeah, of, of course. course. <laughs> That's how I do it. You think we can find some cool fish in here? Oh yeah. Okay. You know, you know what my favorite are so far, but no one's picking them up? It's what you had before. Because look how colorful their, their fins are. I love those! Yeah. <laughs> look how cheap they are too. Oh no no no. These are the these are Beckfords. Yeah, the Beckfords. But you had the art. That's not a Beckford pencil. Oh, they're not. There's no way. This is a Beckford pencil. Yeah. So what is that one then? That's I have no idea what that is. That's no, not where a, the fins are. But if that came in with the Beckford for three ninety nine, I'd buy them all right now. Maybe that's a strawberry rasbora. No, strawberry rasbora is those things. <laughs> no. Oh, the little things. Yeah, those little ones are. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so I don't know what those are, but they came in as pencil fish, and they've been here for almost two and a half weeks. Yes. Wow, we should take them all. Yeah, we should take them. <laughs> I'm, say, I'm saying, they do look. You, do you need them? Do I need them? I look at the white on, on the... I have never seen a pencil fish like that. That's not a red coral, because a red coral looks more like this with red. Okay. Right? It's red where the gold is. So you don't know what they are. I've never seen them before. I've never <laughs> seen that fish before. Maybe Robert knows. Corey and Robert Already knows. fish. All right, what's this? I want these. What is what? The one with the red tail uh, and white. Oh, this guy? Yeah. I mean, maybe it's just a super colored up Beckford's pencil There's fish. not a chance, because that's, that's with the bar. Yeah, that's what I would know him as, too. I don't know. Ask, you'll have to ask. Uh, I'm getting a giant. Oh, maybe there's. No, they're not strawberry rest They're not. <laughs> I'm getting a giant uh, elephant ground? nose. Oh, oh elephant nose. <laughs> elephant nose. I don't know where I'm going to put it yet, but... <laughs> oh, there he is. Oh, that's a nice size. <laughs> well, I'm thinking, we we're going to do the ghost knife spoon in there because the tops of those decorations. So I think Good this point. is going to... Yeah, yeah that, that'll work. And yeah. since I think I'm going to put a uh, spoon with super secret thing in the 230, <laughs> yeah. I got some free space. Size. Stay there, buddy. Those are better size. Oh, Stay there, there, buddy. Yeah. Here I was looking for something to, to turn up the substrate. This isn't going to do it at all, but I still <laughs> in love with it. Oh, look at that, dude. I'm going to get the last guy out of here. Caught him quick. I just need the other Tetris to leave him. Yeah. There you go. Okay. I love this shop. I never even did shop I mean, you had to come in on Sunday when it's 100 degrees, <laughs> and then it's like I could shop my own store. Here, you hold the bag. Oh, they good. want you to identify this pencil fish over here. Huh? It says Beckford's, but Dean says that's a Beckford, but that's not a Beckford. So we were thinking that was the male. Yeah. Because that's what came in the last year. Oh, they're saying those are males, Dean. That's what I said. That's, that's not true. He said that's not true either. I've spawned those fish before. <laughs> but. We gotta catch those, Jim. You want them or you want me to take them? I want you to take them so you can bring them because we don't know what it is exactly. He wants them. I think it is. Not a I think it is. Not a chance. Okay. <laughs> Look I mean, I'm not gonna say, Dean, you're wrong, but Dean, you're horribly wrong. Okay. Here. Google is our friend. Right? That's this one, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there. That's this one. That's. It's saying that's a Beckford, Beckford eye. It might be a male. I have a hard time believing that. I've never, never seen that color. Have you? Mm -mm. Maybe it is. Well, check it out. The scuds are eating this chunk. Those studs. Yeah. Checking out the quarantine room. I like to check out these two tanks because they're like drop-offs. 
<laughs> Look at this. Oh, copper noses. We just saw these not too long ago in the store. They probably brought them back. No, no, no. Uh, they were at the front. Oh, okay. Uh, and the temperature fluxes, they kept getting like velvet or air. Oh, or so, so it's just like quarantining right now? Yeah. Look at the transparent knives, too. Those things are cool, too. I know, yeah. Did you see them? What? Well, you stuck them down there. Have you seen those transparent like knives? Check it out. It's Corey behind a counter. It's been a long time. <laughs> I, although, I like, I, I walked right back into like, alright, I'm ready to work. Like, I'm just in the zone already. I'm trying to sell all you guys fish. You should get that. You should do this. <laughs> Look at the datanoids we have over there with the Congo Tetris. How much are these? Did he even tell you? No. <laughs> my guess, my guess off the top of my head is probably like 130 bucks. I'm thinking, I'm thinking they're dollar per gallon. I'm thinking your fish are a dollar per inch. <laughs> you can play this game, Dean. Spider in. It's more like you take a fast turn and like into the glass. Yeah. I've made a point. <laughs> it says only 95 right now. It's 97. Are you excited now? So, we're going to get some water from the tank. There's a few cory eggs. It's not a lot, but they will still hatch, and I'll put them what with the other ones. What time is it, though? you got to tell people. We called it. Oh, that's three hours later. <laughs> it's 102 degrees out right now, yeah. guys. It's about 101 in You know here. what? I'm there's on there's something wrong with this, isn't there? There's something wrong with this. We talked about this last time. So if you guys haven't ordered one of these, see now, now remember that page we were talking about earlier? The page, the page oh, on the, the website. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, this could be another quick order add-on thing. <laughs> these could be a quick add-on. Really easy, just go click, add to the order. Oh, I'm not, I'm not quite to $59, Jimmy. I'm, <laughs> I'm, how much are these, $12? No, they're $59, they're way more. I am $16 short. <laughs> Look, boom. Yeah. Let's go back to Cory eggs now, back to your normal programming. When I put this container in the fry tank to hatch, it's gonna hang on the tank, in the tank, right? When we collect the Cory eggs, you roll them off from your finger and you roll them onto here. I roll them onto this side, right? so that when it's in the tank, they're on the side that faces me. Otherwise, they're on the side that faces away from you. So it's easy. So water. Now we're gonna go for eggs. So right here we have six, three and three. Down here there's a couple, I think these two have been destroyed, but we'll see. So I just take my finger and roll them off, I got two. You see them on my finger? Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna come down here and roll them onto the container. So they're in here now, right above my thumb. Take the next one. That one's destroyed, it's not an egg. These ones I'm gonna go sideways. Got two again. Put them in that same general area. That one's not an egg, this one is an egg. It's kind of like tomorrow morning, there'll probably be 20 or 30 in here, 40 maybe, because they will, they tend to spawn more in the morning. If I do one of those cool water water changes tonight, I'll probably have three females spawning. You see how fat they are. Well fed and ready to go. That wasn't a lot of eggs. I was expecting So how long more. from that till hatch? About five days. Five days. Yep. I will put a little bit more water from the fish room in there, two drops of methylene blue and bubble some air. Okay. As soon as they hatch, I start changing water out. I want that methylene blue out of there as quick as possible. 95.7. I believe it to be that hot in here, honestly. Yeah. It's hot. I'm whispering. So, hey guys. Oh no. Like so, see that? I was gonna say that's impossible. See again. that? Yeah, he, he did it all like fast. Yeah. <laughs> see that? Like, that seems way harder.
Ready? We ready? Yeah. Uh, so you guys always want a cooking video, right? So how about some guacamole? Oh, no, 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 not guacamole. Not this stuff. How about we cook a python? Does that sound like a good idea? <laughs> that sounds python? delicious. Okay. Okay, we're going to give it a go. I guess I could use green onions, right? I like to use white onion, but I don't have it, which sucks. Members only guac with Dean. Instead of aqua Dean, is it cookie Dean? How do you know if it's enough? That looks like wisteria. It's soap. How old are you now, Dean? Members only. Old enough to be Jimmy's dad. Ha! Huh. How old's Jimmy? Same age as Corey. <laughs> no, I'm 38. I'm 37. Yeah, same age. What? Right. So for the let, vlog, let me give you an extra one, we're now up to six six fifty at night for the vlog. What? It's six fifty p.m. It's six fifty p.m. Yeah. Wow. I'll see you next what time do you do the next feeding on the fish? Usually eight okay. or nine or actually after my nap. You ready to go? Yeah. If he says so. All right. Today we're doing 20 questions with Dean because everyone asks me about Dean and it's easier just to ask Dean about Dean. <laughs> oh, some no. of these some of these have come from the comments and some are just like, yeah, I don't know this about Dean either. So here we go. Cool. All right. Okay, where that car's coming out is Shrimp enchiladas. Shrimp enchiladas. Yeah, that's all I'm eating. Cameron. He got the chimichanga. You can actually see, I actually work. I'm replying like <laughs> as I eat. Like I try to get the yeah. raised comments I can. 9.35. Two hours later. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Time to feed fish? Oh, do we have to do that again? I don't know. Yeah, at least the fry. And then I can go to bed. Someday, someday. You just gotta find the company. It's I out know, there already. Someday, the list of my stuff to do, eventually it'll fall down far enough where it's like, find Dean's favorite turkey basting. <laughs> You're right above like, improve toilet paper. Oh, geez, have you guys noticed? <laughs> Speaking of toilet paper. Have you noticed that the rolls are getting fatter? but they're also getting skinnier. I'll show you when we go upstairs, I can prove it. I believe you, I just... Like a quarter to a half inch skinnier than they were two years ago. When do you think the store will be ready for discus? I wanna be selling them just a little bit bigger than these. All right. I think we can set up a 20 count for those, no problem. Yeah. Yeah, so we can make that happen. I'm just gonna throw it out tomorrow. Yeah, see? Okay, Jimmy. That's a wrap. Unless you insist on seeing the discus eat. Why do we need to see me? Well, they haven't eaten in two days, so. I guess we should feed them. Okay, fine. Are those black worms? I don't know. Try them. Looks like it. Probably. Is that a tuna fix? No, these are black ones. Bye, cat. All right. Bye, Dean. Bye. 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 Drive careful, guys. All right. I'll see you then. Cheers. Okay.